Tonight, the Huskies look to remain unbeaten in Big East Conference play as they take on longtime opponent, the Providence Friars. We're underway in Hartford, UConn in the home, white uniforms. KK Arnold drives and gets the first points. Eight seconds into the ball game. KK Arnold with the break. Nobody near her wearing black. Okay. Here's Mule for three. Impact in the game early. Well, and it, you know, it's her confidence. Now she, and she told Chelsea Sherrod over the weekend, you know, I just feel so much more confident shooting the ball. <laughs> yes, she did. Mule again. Left wide open, dared to shoot. Time out, Providence. You know, at one point you can leave her open. I don't know if you can leave her open anymore. Might have had her own zip code going there for those last couple of tries and took full advantage of it. UConn has scored 10. Providence has scored none. Six of those 10 belong to Nika Mule. Lunging Olsen, there's Arnold wide open on the other side. Edwards aggressively to the rebound and gets the putback. That was sheer determination by Aaliyah Edwards to get that rebound. But can with the change defense. Mule steps in the double team and gets the steal. And runs ahead of the pack for the points. That's, that's how you turn defense into offense. UConn has gotten back to their old selves of late. There it is, Shade anticipating the pass and with the steal. Two on one. Into Arnold. Patience. And points. Shade pushing the ball, the nice pass, and then the punt fake. Get the defense off their feet and finish. And now the pressure to try and extend the advantage. Bosa turns it over. And Shade gets the punt put back. That's put a really up. tough finish there yeah. with the contact one handed. The trap here. And Arnold anticipates. Underneath the mule. How about this, this pressure on the ball in the front court? And the pressure leads to the turnover on the pass. Samuels drives, it's Mule, uh, it's uh, Beckers rather. She'll find Brady outside the three point line. And Ice Brady. You know, we've talked about the word confidence a lot this game. That kid right there has more and more confidence these last three, four games. Edwards misses over the defense of Samuels, and here comes Ashlyn Shade with the ball for UConn. The turnaround, nicely done. It's the rebound with Edwards steaming at her, looking for it. Ashlyn Shade wide open for three. Yes. She caught that ball knowing she was going to shoot it. Had the confidence. Shade for three. That is the fifth made three-pointer of the game. For the Huskies, Providence only has four made field goals. Olsen, pass was tipped, here's Beckers. How about switching that ball one hand to the other off the glass? She's so crafty, she's so strong. What a, what a finish. Two juniors on the floor, excuse me. That one rattles home from the corner. Well, UConn gets the ball up the floor and looks to attack. And yet, UConn leads 40 to 17. Well, it's good to know that she, you know, there are oh. certain games she doesn't have to do everything, but she must have hurt us. At halftime, Mika Mule and Ashlyn Shade have starred for UConn. 10 for Mule, 13 for Shade, and it's 42-19. You know, they play four guards, uh, and they'll do what they can, and the guards will come down, as Paige is doing, and rebounding. Nice move, Aaliyah Edwards. This afternoon, Aubrey Griffin is indeed lost for the season with an ACL injury to her left knee. There's Beckers for three. <laughs> she put her hands up like, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Prayer I think answer. there was some divine intervention over there to take Just that shot. That go. Yeah. By the way, good call on the block there. Yeah, true. And there's Beckers. Her career as a forward, and then just will do anything she needs to do for this team. Now she's playing the, the wing. How about that pass from Mule to Brady? Well, the screen, and look at that. 
A screen and roll perfectly executed. And how about that bounce pass from Mule? Not just tonight, but in any game going forward this season. There's Brady from just beyond the free throw stripe. And there is equaling a season high for Ice. Well, as soon as she caught it, she shot it. And that was, I mean, that just tells you that she is mentally locked in. Profile call. There's Paige Beckers. She's got it going now. Ashlyn Shade. Nice cut. Spotted by Beckers, and two more for the freshman Shade. There's Farrell in, knocked away from Olsen by Edwards without fouling. Mule feeds Arnold. Talked about her, Edwards, and Dolce from Villanova with double doubles leading the conference. There's Aaliyah Edwards with a nice drive to the bucket for two points. Shade, too strong. Edwards gets the deflected rebound and puts it in. Deflected by who else but Nika Mule. Olsen misses, and Arnold grabs the rebound and runs. Shade ahead of the pack. She and Edwards. <laughs> I don't think Aaliyah Edwards knew she was there. They need a little air traffic control coordination there. Olsen inbounds, and the ball knocked away by Beckers, and Arnold to Beckers, to Edwards. Missed it all. Two on one. Which turned into a four on one for UConn. And two more Husky points. Exhausting. Three seconds, two seconds. Arnold, how about that? To put an exclamation point on the third quarter. Much better job by UConn that quarter. Working together, getting everyone involved. Scored in a lot of different ways. Outscore the Friars 31-13 in the third. And at the end of three here in Hartford, a 41-point lead, the largest of the ball game for the Huskies. Looking on. As KK Arnold gets the layup. And the steal for Arnold. Betcourt runs ahead of the pack and gets it. The back flip up over the head. Again, offense coming from the defense. Terrific steal by K.K. Arnold, and then the assist. Tonight, there's Betcourt. Oh. Follows the miss. That even gets the UConn coaching staff up off the bench to applaud. Yeah, phenomenal hustle by Betcourt. Here's DeBerry. And Amari's on the board. One of the best post moves I've seen Amari DeBerry make. Right? 85-41 is your final tonight from Hartford.